back to Arc Tutorials. Today, I am bringing you top 10 ways that you can improve your logical thinking skills in programming. This is one of the most frequently asked questions in emails and in comments. How can we become better developer? How can we get better at programming? How can we get better at thinking of how we approach a particular problem or solution? I hope these 10 ways will really help you. Some of these I am sure you can relate to it. These are based out of my experience as a full stack developer for past 10 years. Let's get right into it. So before we start looking at the ways to improve logical thinking, let's first take a minute to understand what exactly is logical thinking. Logic is nothing but it's a way of analyzing, thinking and coming up with a sensible approach to solve a particular given problem. That's what logical thinking is what I would say. For example, let's say I give you a problem statement that I have an array and you need to find the duplicate values in that particular array. This is a problem. So how do we go about this particular solution? First, you need to think come up with a proper way of breaking it down the solution into logical pieces test with different data sets. What happens when you pass good data? What happens when you pass negative data and like that? So like I said, logic is a way of analyzing, thinking and coming up with a sensible approach. Now let's see the 10 ways that you can improve the logical thinking. Okay, the first and the foremost thing that needs to be addressed is you can only improve programming by writing lots and lots of code. That's the first and single most key to improve your logical thinking. You cannot get or you cannot learn the programming or the logical thinking by looking at someone else code, right? You need to get started, get your hands dirty, put your time, effort in practicing. It's nothing like you cannot learn. Practice is crucial part of our life. And we get better at anything that we do or practice over a period of time. So I would say start taking up questions, start analyzing, spend some time, try to think of more. First, try to solve the problem and then come up with a more uh, optimized way of writing the same code. That's the number one approach. So there is no escape to it, friends. Writing a lot of code will only give you different perspective, give you a lot of tools in that particular programming language that it supports and will help you get better over a period of time. Do not jump the gun, like it time takes time, okay? Which means that you cannot become a good developer overnight. That's for sure. If somebody is telling you you can, they are fooling you. It will take time, it will take effort, it will take hard work. So get started, start practicing, writing a lot of code. The, what is the next best thing after writing code? It is to read the code. That means once you start looking at how someone else has solved a particular problem, give you a new way of thinking. You can see how optimized the solution is. So start looking at the code, try solving some pseudo algorithms, look at how the others are approaching towards that particular problem in the way. It will surely give you a better understanding like what was used, why was this used, why not the other way and so on and so forth. So the first technique is to always practice. The second way is to read the code, look at others code. Also participate in code reviews that will help you look at the code more closely. The third is to learn about data structures and algorithm. Now data structures are fundamental to any programming language. If you are coming from computer science background, I'm sure you're aware of data structures, sorting, searching, binary tree, uh, you know, all of those data structures, arrays, objects, linked list, all of these are pretty, pretty, um, you know, um, critical in terms of writing good code. If you're writing really complex um, or critical applications, you are bound to use them. So it's better you learn data structures. The fourth thing is my favorite part, which is Whenever you are given a problem statement, always try and divide it into smaller chunks. Don't look at the problem as a whole. Look the problem into pieces. 
break down into multiple smaller statements and then go after them. That would give you much more confidence, that will give you much more clarity in your own thinking. Always remember this. How do you eat an elephant? You cannot eat an elephant in one go. You have to eat it piece by piece. So always remember, whenever you get a problem statement, try to divide it into smaller chunks. The fifth and the, one of the most overlooked, I would say as a developer in my experience that a lot of junior developers make mistake is that they only look at the happy path of a particular use case. For example, if it's a login screen, they will just implement that whenever we enter values, the user should be able to log in. That's right. That is the happy path. That is what it is supposed to do. But as a good developer, you have to think through all the edge cases. You have to think through the use cases where it will not work. For example, what happens if I give bad data? What happens when you provide incorrect values? What happens when you enter junk data? Let's say special characters, etc. So all of these fall under negative use cases or negative scenarios. As a developer, thinking about the happy path is the expected one. But also try to break your own system by passing bad data, negative use cases, negative scenarios. That's what will help you think better and get good at logical thinking. The sixth one is something that I see a lot of junior developers make mistake. They get scared and it's okay. It's okay to get scared when you're beginning as a junior. But over a period of time, you would see that the more confident you are about approaching a solution, you will most likely end up into a better solution which means be fearless. Okay, that's number one. S start with the thought that, yes, I got this problem. I can easily solve it. And that's the mindset you should be when you're approaching any particular uh, user story or a, a problem that you have in hand. Also think, don't start thinking that a complex problem will always require a complex solution. That's wrong. A complex problem can also be solved in much easier, optimized and simpler way. You just have to find the efficient way to solve the problem. So this is more of a mindset thing where you need to say that, no, I'm confident that I can get this solved and then go about your business. The seventh one is make mistakes. Okay. A lot of times we shy in writing certain code thinking it will not work. It will break. You're not pushing it to production yet. It's in your local, you're still developing. So try and make mistakes because that's the only way you can learn. Okay. We are all humans. We all make mistakes and that's the only way to learn. Okay. The more mistakes you make, the more ways you know how it will not work. And then it would be useful in the next task. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. Keep on trying. That's number seven. Number eight. This is yet another most underrated efficient way, which is code review, peer review, or learning or peer programming with your colleagues, with your friends or your seniors. When you work in a team, you will obviously have one or two friends who are pretty close to you. Talk to them, talk to them about the potential solution you're thinking, write it down, get the pseudo logic reviewed with your peer, with your mentor, with your friend, with your colleague, with your senior, anybody. You can learn so much more from others that you cannot learn by yourself. So this is one of the most underrated and most people will shy away from asking doubts. When you don't ask, the answer is always no. When you don't ask or when you shy away, you are stopping yourself from learning. So reach out to your friends, reach out to your colleagues, ask them why they implemented certain thing in certain way. Ask them the pseudo logic that they came up with. How do you go about? How do you break it down? Am I missing something? Keep reaching out to your friends and peers. That's number eight. Number nine. Now this is purely again mental um, ability and which is to be motivated. Okay. Just because a senior is writing much better code, you don't get degraded. Just because your friend is much better at this point of time doesn't make you less you are improving yourself and the only way to improve is keep motivated 
okay so think of you what is your motivation i want to learn i want to grow in my career right i have my financial goals i want to keep growing think of that mentality problems will be solved today or tomorrow they will be solved but your mindset needs to be stable it needs to be motivated it needs to be positive some day your team lead or your manager may come down harsh on you do not discount yourself on that it's okay it's okay to have bad days but don't be demotivated stay motivated stay in the course think of everything as a feedback keep learning keep improving that's the keyword keep learning keep improving the last one whenever you get a chance try to always take a complex task so if you have two task in hand one is easy one is tough always try to take up the tough one that's what i have been doing in my career and i have grown that way the when you take the tough ones you get two things one you get recognition you get rewards because you are going after big task complex task also once you commit to your team to your client you will be forced to find a solution that's one way to put yourself and say yes i will get it done so this is yet another thing again do not go into unrealistic uh, approach as well you should have some idea about what work you're picking up how much is the complexity if need be break it down if need be reach out for help that's the single most thing so never shy away from taking complex work that will give you reward name and recognition as well the last one bonus which is some of you have been asking how do i learn programming how do i get better at certain things so i can tell you few things that are common in most programming languages and which would really help you become better developer classes objects arrays right objects strings promises async these are all mostly i would say the common logical building blocks in any programming language you need to get good at it i have compiled a list of 100 such commonly asked coding questions and snippets even if you don't want to buy the book please do check out the link i have put all the questions out there for you for free so you can check them out learn and improve i'm trying to put this together so that it will really help you reach out to me if you have doubts i'll be more than happy to help you please do check out the ebook that i have on frequently asked coding questions to improve your logic the link is arctutorials.gumroad.com thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode where i'll keep bringing such more tutorials to help you grow in your career please do subscribe please do like share these videos with your friends and colleagues help them improve as well thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode